To make your own pinwheel, you need a ruler, pencil, scissors, the hub and thumbtack, some Velcro, and a normal piece of printer paper. First, you want to measure out a piece of paper that's 4 inches by 4 inches square. Next, cut out the 4 inch by 4 inch square piece of paper. With the 4 inch square piece of paper, Draw lines that go from corner to corner using the ruler and pencil. Next, mark a dash on each of the lines one inch from the center. Then, take the scissors and cut along the lines up to the dash. Next, take the right side cutout and fold towards the center, overlapping each point as you fold them over. Next, take your piece of Velcro and peel off the backing of the adhesive. Place the Velcro on the center of the back of the pinwheel. Take the wind turbine hub and place it on the back of the Velcro. With the right edges folded over, take the thumbtack and push through the folded over edges into the hub. Next, press the hub and pinwheel assembly onto the wind turbine test base. Blow on the pinwheel to assure that it rotates clockwise. To place the wind turbine test base into the test section, align the arrows and feed the wires through the hole in the base, pulling them through the other side. Aligning the arrows will ensure that the test base is facing the right direction. To hook up the multimeter, turn it on to setting 20V. Then take the red end and hook it up to the red alligator clip. Repeat this step for the black end. You are now able to measure the voltage produced by the wind turbine. Try using your own pinwheel designs in order to create more voltage or less voltage than the stock propeller. You are now able to complete the wind turbine experiment. Have fun!